Hi there, this is Cook Melinda, and I get to be with you to tell a story. The story that I'm going to tell today is uh, about coyote, and you won't believe what happened. But I like coyotes' stories because sometimes they remind me of myself and how I can be different. So this story is about Coyote's eyes. Now one day Coyote was walking through the forest and he saw there was Rabbit. Now Rabbit was a doctor. He was a doctor to the animals and he was a doctor to the people. And what Rabbit was doing was singing his spirit song. And when he sang his spirit song, his eyes would come out of his head and perch on a tree. Coyote's watching this and going, oh. And then Rabbit would say, Astam, come. And his eyes would come back into his head. When Coyote saw this, he thought, wow, what a neat trick. So he came out and he said, oh, Rabbit, please, would you teach me your spirit song? I would love to be able to do that. And Rabbit said, well, I do this because I'm helping the people. And when my eyes go there, they can see what's going on, a bigger picture. And Coyote, I'm not sure. Um, that you would treat that respectfully. And Coyote says, no, I will, I will, I will. Just, just teach me your spirit song and, and I will be able to do this and I will help people. And Rabbit said, okay. So he taught Coyote his spirit song. So Coyote sang the spirit song and wow, his eyes flew out of his head and sat on the branch and his eyes looked around. And then Coyote said, Astam, come here. And Rabbit said, no, 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 those are your eyes. Be gentle, be kind. Okay, Astam, come here. And sure enough, his eyes came back and flew back into his eyes. Well, Rabbit left and before he left, he warned Coyote, you must never do this more than four times in a day because something bad will happen. And Coyote, okay, okay. And then after Rabbit left, Coyote three more times sang the spirit song and his eyes flew out of his head and perched on the branch. And then he would, a thumb, come here. And they would come back, back into his eyes. Well, after he'd done that three more times, he thought, Hmm, I'm gonna go down into the village. I bet the people would love to see this. It's such a great trick. And so he headed off down to the village and he started calling everybody around. Everybody, come on, you're gonna see something amazing, something you've never seen before. Come and see what Coyote can do. And the people started gathering around and as soon as Coyote was surrounded with people and it all got quiet and he sang the spirit song and his eyes came out of his head and sure enough, perched on the branch and all the people, oh, wow, Coyote. And then Coyote went, Astam, come here. But his eyes didn't move off the branch. He got a little... Astum, come here. And his eyes didn't come off the branch. And the people were starting to, starting to snicker and laugh at Coyote. Oh, Coyote. And then Coyote thought, okay, I, I need to be gentler. Astum, come here. But the eyes still didn't come. And just at that point, a crow was flying by. He looked down and he saw these two new kinds of berries sitting on a branch. He swooped down and ate them. The people, oh! and Coyote just fell. He said, oh no, what am I going to do now? I have to find something. So he was going along the ground and he felt these 
berries. They they were huckleberries, which are kind of like blueberries, dark little berries. And he thought, I'll try these. And he they're round and he put them in his eye sockets and it was so dark he couldn't see anything. And he thought, this isn't gonna work. And he took them out and then he heard the river. And you know, when you see the river, there's lots of bubbles around it sometime. And he thought, I'll go look for some of those bubbles. And he went down by the river and he saw the bubbles and he very carefully put them in his eyes. But you know what happens to bubbles. Sooner or later, they pop. And there he was, blind again, and he just wept. <laughs> oh, I am such a pitiful creature. And then he heard a voice. Coyote, why are you crying? And it was Mouse. Oh, my friend, I don't have any eyes I can't see. And Mouse said, oh, I have two eyes. I'll give you one. So Mouse gave him his eye and Coyote put it in his socket. But Mouse's eye is so much smaller than Coyote's. It was just kind of small and really tiny in there. And Coyote could hardly see anything. You know, it's like if you take your hand and you go like this, really small, and you see what Coyote could see which wasn't very much. So he, <laughs> he's just still crying. Oh, I'm so pitiful. And he heard another voice. Coyote, why are you crying? And it was Buffalo. Buffalo was so generous. And Coyote said, I can't see very well out of this eye and I have no eye in this eye. And Buffalo said, I have two eyes, Coyote. I'll give you one of mine. And Coyote, okay. And so he took Buffalo's big eye and he put it in, it was so big, it even hung over his cheek and it lit in so much light and everything looked so bright and so big. Like if you ever look through a magnifying glass. So here he had this one eye that was so tiny and this other eye that was so big and he could hardly walk. And you know, that's how Coyote had to walk the rest of his journey on Mother Earth. I like that story. It reminds me to be grateful for what I have and to be myself and not to be trying to be like somebody else. It's good to be with you.